is up YouTube thrift school over here and I'm coming at you guys with a video showing you guys this massive shoe haul that I haven't even looked at I bought it blind like seriously I did not even glance glance yeah I, I did not even glance or take a glimpse I guess both words really work right at these shoes at all when I bought them I, I looked in the cart a little bit, but they saran wrap this cart up, tape it all up, and it says, cart full of shoes, 50 bucks. And you know what I said? I said, heck yeah, you got yourself a deal. So I went to a local thrift store, and they just had a cart, a bunch of different carts full of shoes for $50 each. I'm like, okay, these shoes are all going to be crap. They're all going to be rejects. They're all, uh, what up, Ian? Quick hello, then back to driving. I see that. Um basically these shoes were just random i did notice a few brands kind of like trying to peek through the car and i'm like okay you know what 50 bucks yeah let's give it a shot most of the shoes seem to be, seem to be women's and children's though which i don't know how well those do i've only ever sold women's shoes on ebay i think twice but we are going to go through every single pair of these shoes live right now and we'll see what kind of brands I got I honestly have only looked at three pairs of the shoes in depth only three pairs so let's uh, let's bang through this let's see what we got and uh, the first pair of shoes are these women's high heels right uh, the brand is called brash b-r-a-s-h uh, they're very clean, but one thing that I do notice, because this was one of the pairs of shoes I saw, this one's good. This one is starting to uh, split a little right there. I think if I put some Gorilla Glue in there, it should be fine, or Shoe Glue. They actually make that stuff, and it works really well. Um, they're size 7.5. Never heard of the brand. It might be a crappy brand. It might not even be worth listing. They don't seem to be of high quality, so who knows? Let's throw these to the side. Next, we will pull these bad boys out. These are a youth pair of Under Armour cleats. They're actually in very clean shape. I mean, they have a little bit of wear on them. As you can tell, they've obviously been worn. All of these shoes have been worn before. Um, these are a size 3 youth, I believe. And... Um, I mean, they're, they're in good, sound shape. They're a little dirty because obviously you could use them for baseball. But that's that's totally fine, you know. We will definitely be able to sell these. Uh, the soles seem to be intact. You can bend it. Everything's good. That's definitely something you want to look out for. You know what? I just realized I don't want to be throwing these shoes um, all on the floor and then they all get mixed up. So what I'm going to do is just tie them together. So just tie the shoelaces together, just like how you would for a prank. And while I do this, I'll read off some of the comments. Um, Penny Royal says, yay, live chats are back. Yes, I just got back from vacation not too long ago. So I will be bringing out some videos. I already edited another video that's ready to go for tomorrow. Fair warning, most of it's just driving around, seeing the country. But at the very end, I am inside of a pawn shop in Colorado, which is really cool. Um, what up, Bearded Thrifter, 826 Junior. We got the homies in the house. All right, so the next pair of shoes are right here. These also seem to be in decent shape. I believe that's Adidas. Yep, Adidas. And these are another youth pair of cleats. Uh, I don't know how well children's used cleats do. Uh, I think these are soccer cleats. These are a size 2 in kids. So this looks like something that would fit a kid that's maybe in, I don't know, 3rd to 5th grade, maybe. Um, so that's kind of cool. I mean, they are clean. They do seem nice. And like I said, I'm just going to be tying these laces together so I don't lose them. Um, because I don't want to lose them. So there we go. They are tied together. All right. Next, we have somebody says for old cloth white shoes with, it's not super white, use baking soda on them to clean them. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, Logan White says 25 bucks for those cleats. We'll see. Hopefully. Here's another pair of youth cleats. These ones have been used a little bit more. You can see all the dirt, but these are a pair of Nikes. Um, they say baseball right on the inside, so I know these are baseball cleats. They seem to be in pretty good shape. Uh, these are a size 1 youth, 
so they're definitely smaller. They're already tied together, so that's nice. It seems like just, uh, I've been using uh, this stuff, just disinfecting wipes, to pretty much clean every item I ever use, so I'll probably use those on these shoes also, because uh, why not, right? All right, next, we got a uh, very, very little, so the shoes keep getting smaller. These are just a little pair of slip-ons. They're a little dirty in the bottom. I don't know if they're worth anything. The brand is called Twinkle. Um, the front of this one's pretty messed up. I'm actually just going to chuck these because look at that. They're falling apart. So these are shoes that I'm just going to chuck. And the thing that I'm okay with is I only spent 50 bucks for all of them. So there we go. In the garbage, they're done. Uh, especially with these shoes that are really damaged and really dirty. It's not even like I could re-donate them because they're, they're pretty damaged. Um... If there's shoes that end up not selling, obviously I'll, I'll re-donate them. So, let's see what we got here. Here comes all these shoes that I know absolutely nothing about. Um, this is a pair of high heels. Very interesting. They look kind of cool, right? They originally had them priced at $6, but I got them in this huge bin. The brand is Dex Flex Comfort. I doubt that's a good brand, but they just look kind of cool. You know, maybe uh, 15 bucks or so. Did I come through Baton Rouge on my trip? I drove uh, right around Baton Rouge, very close to going through, but I didn't stop in Baton Rouge at all. All right, so the high heels, I'm going to try and keep together the best I can. Um, here we go. Here is another pair of high heels. Now, I'm really not interested in high heels at all. I really don't want to uh, sell them, but, you know, if see, this one's coming apart a little bit. That's what's good about that shoe glue, as you can tell, right up there, starting to split a little bit. Same on this one. So you put a little bit of shoe glue in there, and it should hold up pretty nice. The brand is Maurice's. I don't know if Maurice's is a good brand, but the shoes themselves are very, very, very clean. A little bit of scratch, scuffing on the side, but you can't even really see it on the camera. Not bad, but I'm probably going to end up having to re-donate these because they're not the nicest. All right, let's see what we got. Trying to get rid of all the high heels real quick. Here is another pair. These things are kind of cool. These are like snake skin. The brand is uh, Worthington. Uh, they're size 9, gray snake. I don't think these are worth anything. They might be, but I, I honestly know nothing about women's shoes. They originally had them priced at 8 bucks, So maybe they're worth something. Maybe they'd go well for like one of those weird used shoe people on eBay. Uh, like the guys that like to buy the women's shoes if they smell. But they don't smell, so I guess they wouldn't sell well for that person. All right, let's see what we got. Um, here's an interesting pair of shoes. Um, they look cool. Don't really know what they are. They're Cobb Hill slip-ons by New Balance. They're kind of like Western style. They're very clean. Uh, just Western style slip-ons. They originally wanted six bucks for them. Um, these I definitely think will sell for something. I just don't know what. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Buyer's House says, if I'm looking to market locally, should I make some flyers and put them up with my email around town? Or what should I do to get some stuff locally without having to hunt? Um, you you can post ads on Facebook, on um, uh, Craigslist, Offer Up, Let Go. All those things are good. But I would also throw up flyers. I mean, not many people do that, so helps you stand out. Okay, what do we have here? This is the last pair of the first bag. These are really very large for women look how long these shoes are it's talbots size oh they're only nine and a half they just look really long um i think they're extremely ugly i don't think they're gonna sell but we're gonna we're gonna see i don't know i don't know how well talbots does so we'll see all right now on to like better shoes let's go through these like i said i've never seen any of these uh the only ones i saw were the very first three i showed you guys so i don't know anything that's in these other bags all right, here is a youth pair of and ones. These things are pretty cool. Uh, they're pretty clean. They have a little bit of wear. They're not splitting. The soles are good. Uh, one way to check is by bending the shoe, and if it splits, then you know it's not good. That mostly happens with dress shoes. It's not really going to happen with something like this. Uh, so who knows what these could go for? Maybe 15 bucks, right? Get some money there. Next, we have... Um, Trying to find the matches. Here we go. Here's a match. 
Uh, a girl's pair of cleats. This brand is a good brand. It's Mizuno. So these must be softball uh, cleats, I would imagine. That's kind of what they look like. So that's pretty cool. A uh, girl's pair of Mizuno softball cleats. Not 100% sure what these, like I said, I don't really know many of these brands. I'm a, I know of Mizuno, but I don't know what they sell for. I would imagine a kid size can't go for much more than $25 at the high end. So probably, uh, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Um, when you go to Goodwill or your thrift stores near you look for tea. Oh yeah. I, I always look for, um, the calculators all the time. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, here we go. This is uh, pretty cool. This is a pair of Brooks, but on the front, there's the Merrill logo, and on the side, there's the Merrill logo. So these are slip-on Merrills with Brooks soles. So I think these are going to sell very well. These are, uh, I believe, they have to be women's. Uh, no size on them. Not even on the bottom. So that makes it a little tough. How would I figure out the size on this? Who knows? Maybe the Brooks. Oh, pick it up. Size 10. So this actually might be a men's because I'm a size 10. And looks like it fit me perfectly. So I think these are a men's. So that's very interesting here. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Grab the next pair of shoes. This is a pretty interesting pair. Um, oh, this is actually a very, very good pair. They're, they are a little worn, but that shouldn't really matter. Great brand. Great brand. Keen. K-E-E-N. And these are like a pair of hiking shoes. And, yeah, they're pretty nice. It says Keen Dry on the side there. So I think that means that they're waterproof or they're sweat resistant. They are a size eight and a half. It's hard to tell if they're women's or men's. I'd have to go with, they look kind of women-y, but they might be men's. I really don't know. Uh, and they don't have, uh, usually when you're looking at the sizes, there might it might say in women's, it might say in men's or something right on it, but these do not. So I will have to figure out how to measure these and how to tell uh, what size is which. I'm sure there's a measuring tool online where I can find it. Exactly uh, what size a men's is and what size a lady's is um, in inches on the sole. So that will be very interesting. Okay, just tying them up. They're good to go. Keen is a great brand, guys. That's definitely a brand that I think will sell for 30 and up all day. All right. Next, we have, this is either youth or no this is women's size six so that's really cool uh the brand is minimus z or no new balance sorry new balance minimus uh with vibram soles so these are really nice running shoes here you can bend them perfectly fine um you know just a little bit of a cleanup and these are going to i think go for about 25 to 30 bucks um, Greg is asking me how many miles I put on my Subaru on my trip. Um, I put just over 6,300 miles on my car. And the very last day of me driving back, I drove from Birmingham, Alabama to Connecticut in one swoop. Like, I literally woke up at 6.30 in the morning, hopped in my car, drove straight to Connecticut from Alabama got to Connecticut in about 16 and a half hours to 17 hours later. I think I took three or four stops to get gas and that is it. And I, I at my second stop, there was a subway in the gas station. So I had subway. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a freaking trip. Okay. So I noticed there's two shoes in here that are singles. I did drop a few shoes in my car. So I assume that's what's here. Wow, that's like 800 miles or more. Yeah, I think it was more. I think it was nine something. But yeah, I drove. Um, how much caffeine? Uh, Lewis, I actually do not drink caffeine. The only trace amounts of caffeine, I guess you'd say I drink. Very rarely I'll have green tea, like a um, like a, a pure leaf green tea or whatever that is. Uh, so I'll have that. But I actually, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink energy drinks. I just have 
a lot of natural energy. It's that far to drive through Texas. And I also drove through Texas, um, grabbing another bag, coming through, um, what's it called? Coming through, I left Arizona, and I drove all the way through Arizona, all the way across New Mexico, and then into El Paso, which is right in the corner. And then I woke up in the morning and drove from El Paso to Houston in one freaking trip to get to my friend's house. And that was intense. That was a long, 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 long drive to get through Texas. But, um... I don't know. I'm a pretty good driver. I didn't really have any issues. I I was perfectly fine. I didn't get that tired. All right. So these are very interesting. These have like curved soles for walking. They're Fila Sport. Whoa, I dropped it. Oh my gosh. I screwed something up, guys. Sorry. Let us uh, fix that and put it there. Should be good. Yeah, it looks good enough. All right, so uh, these originally were $6, but they're Fila Sport, and they have, like, the curved sole. I don't know what they go for, but hopefully they go for a good amount of money. I would, I, I've would i seen these curved sole shoes before, and I do know that they do sell. I mean, that's, that's what matters. I don't know about this brand specifically. Uh, 826 Jr. says he's never seen curved ones before. Bearded Thrifter says, yeah, you should have stopped in San Antonio. Yeah, that would have been cool. I mean, I saw a lot of things. I went to the Grand Canyon. I went to Mesa Verde. I went to the Rio Grande. Um, I went all over the place. I was in Durango, Colorado, um, Houston, Texas. I was also in Scottsdale, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. So I saw a lot of cool things. Uh, the heat in Texas was horrible. I almost actually, whoops, there we go. Sorry, fix that again. I almost had a, I almost passed out. I played basketball, which was stupid, and I almost passed out. I had horrible heat exhaustion. So the next pair of shoes right here are a pair of Under Armour children's cleats. Again, they're pretty dirty, as you can tell, very discolored. But let me just show you real quick at how, uh, well these little disinfecting wipes do. Um, new ones out there. I only got like one left in here. But they do really, really, really well with cleaning these shoes, I've noticed. So you take your disinfecting wipe. It's a little wet. And look at how discolored that is. That is very dirty, very gross. If I just use my regular finger on here, it's not really doing much. It's just kind of moving it around. So we take this disinfecting wipe. Rub, 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 rub. I'm just going to rub in one little spot so you guys can see the difference it makes. Look at that. Bright as white, bright as day. It looks beautiful, to be honest. I mean, you really can't beat that. So now I'll do it all over, up here, up there, on the side, and we'll see how nice you can get this shoe looking in just a matter of seconds. I mean, it really doesn't take that long to clean these things up, but I'm just going to do that little bit for now, and look at that. Bam. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. I didn't get the back, obviously, but it's shiny. It looks fine. Here's comparison. There's shiny. There's dirty. So, you definitely clean these bad boys. They originally wanted uh, $5 for them, but like I said, I got them in this huge lot, so I paid, I believe... I don't even know how many I got total, so I don't think I paid too much for them. Um, Debbie D in NYC says, I use them too for shoes and Magic Eraser. Yeah, um, Magic Eraser is also another amazing thing to use that I use all the time. All right, next, we have, so I'm missing some pairs over here. All right, let's try this right here. What are these? These are ugly. These are Sonoma, um, just slip-ons. I really don't think they're worth anything. I think these are women's Sonoma slip-ons. I think Sonoma is Target. So these can't be worth much, maybe five, ten bucks. So I can't, I really can't imagine these selling for much. Um, I'll throw them down there, but I don't think I'm going to be selling them. Uh, did the girlfriend have a good time on the trip? Yes, she did. Uh, she had a lot of fun. She took a plane home from Arizona, and then I did the rest of the driving for my uh, by myself, uh, which was fun. <laughs> KG, what up? What up? How's it going, dude? All right. Here we go. I found another pair right here. These look nicer. 
you can almost tell when shoes are nicer, right? So this brand right here, it's like a suede. The brand is Echo, made in Cyprus. So they're pretty cool. They're suede. They have this nice hard rubber sole. Uh, they don't have a size as far as I can tell. But that's okay. I'll try to figure out. Oh, they're a size 37. So that is a European size. So we just have to find the conversion uh, in English or in American, not in English. Um, they, they look like they'd be about a size 8. Maybe 8 and a half. I'd say like 8 in uh, women's. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what Echo sells for. Now, I could be doing a little bit of research on my phone while we look these up, which could be pretty interesting. So I think I'm going to look these up real quick, and let's let's just see what they're going for. So these, uh, I would say they're suede. Just tie them together. So let's look up the brand Echo. And this is kind of just how I do my research. It's on a whim. I just pull up my phone and go to eBay right here. There's eBay. I was looking something up. I was looking a DVD up to see how much it was worth. So let's type in Echo suede brown shoes let's see um they might be worth nothing they might be worth fifty dollars so let's do completed item condition used uh buying format buy it now and see what we get so there's a very very similar pair right there sold for 27.99 plus 9.99 shipping um, there is a, that's the exact pair, I think, right there. Oh, no, it's a little different. Very close, though. No. Eh, close. These ones went for $31 plus $10 shipping. There's a bunch that haven't sold, though. If you want to see what I'm looking at, this is exactly what I'm looking at. I'm just scrolling through. You can see not sold, not sold, not sold. That one sold for 20 Not sold. That one sold for 20 not sold, not sold, not sold, not sold. That one sold for $29. So I'm thinking um, $29.99 free shipping or maybe $34.99. A26 Junior says, Thrift School lies to us. I actually raided a shoe store. It's true, I did. Um, if you guys want to know what I'm drinking, it's called Lean. It's the stuff that all these wrappers drink out of um, foam cups. So I figured I would start just drinking Lean. Um, it's pretty interesting. They also call it purple drink. So let's go on. See what else we got here. These look ugly as crap, but usually ugly cells are called Stegman. Stegman. And they're, they're like wool and cork. It's like cork and rubber. I don't know. These, uh, they're falling apart a little bit in the back, but not too, too shabby. Um... Oh, they're pretty bad. Like this, you could tell right here. See this little design, how it wraps all the way around? This little design got ripped. So we're going to look them up because if they are not worth that much, I'm going to throw them out since they're very damaged. And we do not want to be dealing with damaged shoes. And I don't want to have to re-look them up if I forget. Uh, so I guess they're called Stegman Clogs is is what i see uh, there they are uh actually in in good condition they seem to sell pretty well uh so this would be a brand to look out for in the stores even the cork in the front is starting to split right there i know you can see that um so we want to filter again and look up the used shoes used i mean you're looking if they're in good shape you're looking anywhere between 20 and 20 and 30, $30 at the high end. You're only looking at about 20-ish dollars in good condition. These are not, eh, yeah, I'd say about 20 to $25. So these are pretty damaged. So these are actually just going to go right in the trash. Uh, look at that. The front has a hole right there. So I'm not even going to bother with these. These can get thrown out. I'll just throw them by the door. And that will help me know to throw them out. All right. Here's a nice little pair of Nikes. This is a pair of little girls softball cleats. Uh, the size is 13C, so they are for a very little girl. And uh, they look nice. They're actually in very good condition. A lot of these youth shoes are in better condition than I thought. So Now, since, since I was looking stuff up, I am very curious to know how kids' shoes sell. 
So I'm going to type in Nike Softball uh, 13C and see what comes up. Uh, ch -ch -ch filter completed. We're looking at. We're going to. Okay, so completed, there's 42 listings. Now let's click on sold. 25. So the sell through isn't the best. And I found a very similar pair that only went for $3.50, but they charged $11.70 shipping. Now, a pair of these are under a pound. You could definitely ship these guys. Do I have my scale in here? Uh, oh, it's over there. Um, a pair of these would probably ship for about four-ish dollars. So this person probably made, you know, 10-ish dollars. I do see a bunch of others. They seem to sell for between 10 and 15 bucks. That's honestly kind of what I expected. So I'm I'm not too upset with that. I was hoping to get 15 bucks a pair out of these, which after fees and shipping, I, I'm hoping to net around $10, um, maybe a little bit less, like $9. But I'm going to be listing pretty much all the children's cleats at around $19.99. Um, maybe I'll even start them at $24.99, but I would like to get rid of them since I have so many. So I think I'm going to start them all at $19.99, free shipping. And because they're so light and they're so small, I could shove them right into a poly mailer, ship them off. So that's kind of what I was thinking. That's really not too bad of a price, except these are double knotted. These are double knotted. So I'm just going to kind of stick them on the ground there. Okay. Next, we have a pair of pleats. These ones are very caked on with dirt. So these are some of the things that I have to clean outside. How many people think I'm a hoarder? Uh, a good amount of people, probably. Uh, people look at my window and see that. My window back there is blocked by everything. The rest of my house is pretty clean. Um, not right now, it's not. Since I got back from vacation, stuff's all over. So these are a pair of authentic collection Under Armour uh, cleats. They're not big, so they're obviously kids again. That's kind of an issue here. I thought I was going to get more men's sizes, um, but that's okay. This is a size 4Y, so let's look these up real quick and just see uh, what what the price is on these guys. So this is Under Armour uh, uh, Baseball Cleats, and these are a size 4Y. So I really can't imagine these going for that much. So we're going to have to filter by completed listings, item condition used. All right. Uh, there is the exact pair. Eh, close to the exact pair. Didn't sell. A lot of these are not selling. So a good thing I like to do. Completed. What if I sold dirt? Uh, I would not sell dirt on these. I would clean them all off. So it seems like uh, 44 are completed. We click on sold. We're looking at eight. So these have a horrible, horrible, horrible sell through. Um, but they do sell for about $20. So I'm probably going to list these still at that $19.99 and just kind of wait. Uh, I love the quality be how rich the soil. No, 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 no. No way would I do that. But still, uh, so that's kind of depressing that these don't go for as much. Now, it could be because baseball season has already started and everybody already has their cleats I don't know maybe they'll sell better when the baseball season is just starting I don't even know where I'm gonna store all of these shoes so we're gonna have to figure that out also um, so that's that let's take a look in here so here's three more pairs of shoes without matches so that's not good um, well, let's see if the matches are in this other bag here hey there we go one of the matches was in this bag. So these are a pair of Under Armour. These are actually pretty nice. These are still youth, though, I think. Alex Cruz on these. No, these are men's. A men's size 7 and a half. So they're actually in, in pretty fair condition. Uh, the soles are pretty rough. But the shoes themselves aren't too bad. Um, front has a little bit of wear up there. But I still think these can sell for, you know, $15. Happy about that. Uh, well, we're going to try to get $15 anyways. Who knows if we actually will. That's kind of the plan. I mean, I'm going to be listing, I think, a majority of these shoes at $19.99. And, you know, run sales periodically. Actually, my whole store is on 15% off right now. 
and I haven't sold a damn thing my entire store so who knows all right so now we'll wait till we try to find a pair of these oh we got another big bag full of shoes here all right so here is an adult's size this is a women's uh, ASICs. Uh, they're in rough, 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 rough shape. You can see there's paint up there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get the paint off. Uh, maybe uh, rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover or something will get that off. Uh, the soles are actually pretty good. They're pretty good shape. But the shoes themselves are in rough shape. We'll, we'll try uh, this wet wipe. And see, my store name is jdu.jes. So you could try that. So let's see if this wet wipe takes it off. Uh, no, it's not doing anything. So that is going to be an issue. But it is taking off some of the wear on the soles. So that's not too shabby. I mean, I'll clean them up the best I can. Hopefully I can get that paint off here. Because that's obviously going to really, really, really affect the sale price. Man, look how clean I'm able to get that. There's before... There's after, just with the wet wipe. I mean, it it does pretty good just for a couple seconds of scrubbing. Obviously, I'd scrub a little bit more, a little bit harder, but it's fine. I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning of these shoes tonight, maybe, unless I just got a couple new video games. I just got Nier, uh, Nier or Nair Automa for the PS4 and Neo for the PS4. And I, I was playing Neo earlier, and that game is hard as crap, but it's really fun. And I got them at a pawn shop. I was actually buying them to sell. I could still sell them. I got Neo for $10. And I got Nier for $20. And I can easily sell Neo and net about $10 to $12. Bucks, and I can sell Neo and net about $25 to $35. Here, I'll type in my store name right here. There you go. All right, now, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, these are nice. This is another adult pair. These are Nike shocks. How many of you guys wore Nike shocks in the past? I remember these things. And I feel like they're still worth some money since I don't see them anymore. There's, it says right there, Nike shocks. Uh, these have got to be women's. They kind of look like women's. They're size 7. <laughs> Woo! Uh, just the color is very woman-y, you know? It's very uh, feminine. It's a very light green instead of a darker green that normally you'd see with men's shoes. Um, maybe I'm wrong here because I know nothing about style. But it's very possible that these are women's shoes, which is okay. I just know that women's stuff takes longer to sell. I know less about women's stuff. And I know that they you tend to get more returns with women's stuff. Um but who really knows? So that's not a bad pair of shoes. They're, they actually don't really even need to be cleaned at all. I mean, I'll probably wipe them down a little bit. But let's see what we got here. These are ugly as crap. These are Michael James. Just slip-on black shoes. I doubt these are worth anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's look it up. Because I can almost guarantee they're not worth anything. Michael James slip-on shoes. I bet you they're not worth anything. Uh, Heelys are actually worth a little bit of money. So completed, we're looking at zero sell-through. Zero sell-through on these. None of them have sold. So these are probably going to get donated because they are in great shape. Uh, I could try to list them, but I don't think I'm even going to bother with wasting my time on that. These are just going to get donated since they have a zero sell-through. I wouldn't... I just wouldn't do it. There's something up there. Uh, hey, Samantha, how's it going? All right, now, next, what do we have in here? Oh, here we go. We're getting into some nice shoes right now. It's a grown-up pair right here of Skechers. This is very 90s. You got, like, the sparkly stuff up in there. Uh, soles are in great shape. I don't know how well set, uh, Skechers sells anymore. Uh, these are actually called Skechers D Lights. So we'll, um, I mean, we'll look it up, right? Why not? Might as well look it up. So Skechers D Lights. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they go for. Uh, we will do uh, 
completed listings, buying format, buy it now, and item condition used. Those are my three favorite filters to use. Uh, and let's see. $34.99, $20, $24, $25. So not bad. Uh, there's 154. Now let's change it to sold listings and um, see how many actually sell, sell through. 75 out of the 154. So about a 50%, which isn't too shabby. So I'm looking at about 30 bucks sell on this. Uh, who knows how long they'll how long they'll take if I could clean them up make them look real nice They should sell a little bit faster of course, so we'll hope I can do that and um, Very happy about that now that you look through them. Do you think I would buy another car or no? Um, well, I can't say yet until they start selling so um, The source force is the one that asked that question and to be honest. I really have no idea I wanted more men's shoes and I really don't have any I still have a couple more bags to go through um, but I wanted more men's shoes and I didn't get that and I picked the cart that had the most men looking shoes in it compared to the others um, so we'll see I mean we still have a couple more bags to go through maybe I'll find some real winners uh, right here it's a pair of Sacconis Sacconi is a great brand Sacconi V2 I believe uh, they look clean they look nice soles are pretty mint so not too shabby. I mean, these are a a UK 4.5. The US size is ripped off, so I will be able to do the conversion. So they're pretty small, but hey, they're Sacconi. Sacconi's is good. Yeah, kid shoes suck for sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want kid shoes, and I didn't really want women's shoes, and that's pretty much all I've gotten. So there we go. I banged out that bag so now let's slide on over this bag i just figured i'd do it you know 50 bucks try this go on craigslist and go to for sale and then go to free stuff and you can find some cool stuff yeah i've done that around me there's not too much uh i do search every once in a while so these are really ugly these are called modern rebel and they're like slip-ons with fake snakeskin there's not even a grain to it it's like really poorly uh plastered on there i doubt these are going to sell for anything these are probably going to go in my donate bin over there. Um, right here. These are nice. These are a girl's pair of Nikes. These are actually really cool. They have little shocks on the inside. These are very, like, 90s also. Um, these are a size 6 youth. I thought this was a bag of, like, crack cocaine or weed or something in here. And I was like, what the fudge? So that's kind of what it looked like. But it's not nothing in there that would have been kind of cool though i mean i'm live streaming so i guess that would have been kind of a bad my girlfriend is calling one second guys hello hello okay i'm live streaming right now i will uh come let you in though all right bye my girlfriend is locked out so i will be right back good thing i answered right uh, i will be right back literally 20 seconds. All right. There we go. There we go. Um, next, we have these ugly things these are like little slippers dollar slippers these are going in the garbage actually they're fine to donate so i'll just donate them uh oh these are very 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 nice these are a pair of nikes um these are really cool shoes i think they're golf cleats with those looks right here nike power channel i don't really know what these are oh these are weird if anybody has any information please let me know they don't even have a tongue. There's no tongue on these. On both pairs. They're very lightweight and they have mesh. So if anybody knows what kind of shoe this is, please let me know. It says Hyperfuse. And that's a very interesting style on the bottom. Very cool. So that could be interesting. Hello, Rihanna. Or Renanin. Rihanna. Rhiannon? Rhiannon? I don't know. 
Uh, looks like indoor cleats. Oh, okay. Very cool. Never seen anything like that before. All right. Next, we have a ooh, memory foam. These are suede again. They're actually very ugly. They are called Florsheim Kids. So they're kids. I doubt they're worth anything. Um, I'll look them up really quick, but I think I'm going to throw these in the donate pile. So let's see. Floor shine kids. I mean, who knows, right? They could be worth some bank. Big money. Probably not. Not even. It's not even loading. <laughs> who knows? So. Oh, there we go. It loaded. I will do. Oh my gosh. These do not look to be worth it at all. Horrible sell through. These don't even sell. So these are going in the donating bin. That's fine. And these also look like they're going to go into the donate pile. These are Zara. Z A R A. And these things are busted up. These things are ugly. So they are going in the donate bin. All right, Junior. All right, guys. We got. I think two more bags and then we're done. So two more bags and then we're done. I'm really hoping for a little home run here. I think the, the Nikes and the Keen, a pair of Keens and that one pair of Merrells are pretty good, but uh, I don't even know what brand. Is this Skechers? No, it's SKX. It's missing the sole. These are Skechers, but one side's missing the sole, one side's not. This is garbage. Next, we have a pair of Core Dames. Very high top -y type shoes. They're kind of interesting. I mean, they might be worth something, so I'll keep those here. Let me tie them together. I doubt they're worth anything, but you never know. This is why it's tough buying things blind, because you never know what you're going to get. And a lot of these things that I have here are uh, not the nicest. So... Yeah, that's what happens. Try and tie these. There we go. Okay, next we have these right here. Oh, these are Merrell's also, so these should be good. Merrell air cushion slip-ons. Not bad, so I definitely think those will get me a quick 20. Not a quick 20, but they will. Oh, here we go. This is a good brand. Some stains in it, but I might be able to get it out. Actually, it looks like blood stains. Who knows? Uh, Polo. Some polo slip, uh, little shoes, but it looks like there's blood stains on it or something. Yeah, up there also. So we'll see if I could get that out of fabric. I'll look it up online. Who knows? But hopefully I can because this is not a bad brand. I definitely think I could get, you know, 15 to 20 bucks out of it. And that would be very nice. Yeah, I'll definitely have to do a lot more research on the Nikes. I'll have to do a lot more research on all of these, to be honest. But we'll see. Um, here's a cool-looking pair. Uh, Nikes. These are KDs for kids. They're missing the shoelaces, but I think I can still sell it without the shoelace, just because they're KDs. They're actually really dirty, so it depends. Uh, does anybody... That Nike logo shouldn't have all those dots. These. Oh, really? Thank you about the Cord M's. Um, right here, look at that. That is all Sharpie. That is not how it's supposed to be. So some kid took Sharpie and he put dots all over his KDs. So I highly doubt I could even sell these unless I can get the Sharpie off which doesn't look like it's going to be easy. I mean, I get some ink off, but these shoes are probably shot. Unless maybe rubbing alcohol will do it. I do have some rubbing alcohol right here. We could, uh, I guess, put some rubbing alcohol on this wet wipe. Double it, right? You get rubbing alcohol and wet wipe. Let's see. And doesn't look like it. So these are going to be trashed. See ya. All right. Now, here's a nice pair of shoes right here. They look clean. 
pair of Sabagos, made in USA. These are great, great, great shoes. They look like women's. Uh, these are a size. Of course, there's no size on them. So I'll have to find the size. Maybe it's underneath the sole. No. Oh, there it is. 7M. So 7 medium, I think. So not too bad. Hey, thanks, Wade's Ventures. We got a baller in the house, a baller alert. Wade's Ventures donated $5 because he is a homie. This is very true. All right, next. And final bag, guys. Final bag of shoes. We have a pair of little girls uh, butterfly boots. These are called Westernly Chief Kids. So they actually seem like they're made really well which is kind of odd, uh, used hand sanitizer on it. Maybe I'll give that a shot, honestly, Junior. Uh, Western Chief Rain Boots. Wow, it actually was a thing. So let's see. They just had like a feel to them that felt kind of nice. Oh, okay. So let's do um, item condition used. Buy format, buy it now. Okay, so a little kid's pair went for $16. Another one went for $20. Alright, so 216 results. Let's check sold. See the sell through. 90. A little less than 50%, but they do seem to sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. So this is actually very surprising, but they did feel nice. So uh, we're going to try this. Yeah, alcohol and it works miracles on certain things. Yeah, I'll definitely try it out. Okay, here we go. Another pair of kids Under Armour pleats. We've seen a lot of these tonight. So these are going to be something that I try to, um, you know, anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks, I am totally happy with. So we'll try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, another pair of kids shoes. There are so many kids shoes here. These are Nikes. They're nice. So, um shoelaces are shot but you know we might be able to still sell it with shot shoelaces that doesn't really matter as much as the shoes themselves because you can get uh shoelaces for you know a couple bucks i could just put my own on here but i'm not going to oh my gosh i'm messing this up so bad there we go good enough just you uh when are you going to do a ct smoke up meetup <laughs> um yeah, dude, whenever, whenever, I don't know, this brand, oh, the heel is a little shot, they're called Rainy Zany, the heels are shot, this is garbage. Um, let's see what we got over here, here's a little pair of Carter's, little kids boots, they feel nice, they have faux fur, they actually feel pretty good, so I'm gonna look that up, these are like little girls, um, Irish dancing things. They they look trash, so these are going in the garbage too. Yeah, like Irish step dancing things. There's another one. I don't know why there's so many. Um throw those away. So let's look up Carters. Um here we go. Carters. And these are just I guess just uh, winter boots. Carter's uh, boots. Boy. Let's see what comes up. Source Forest, the vacation was awesome. I had a really good time. I got lots of videos coming out. I took lots of footage. Almost too much footage. Um, actually, eh, 273 completed listings and 74 sold. So not a great sell through. And this is also including new. So we want to do used. Only got 16 used sold. Uh, let's see the completed. 78. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. So these are going in recycling or whatever it's called, donating. Okay, here. Oh, we got another pair of Merrill's. Merrill is a great brand, guys. I definitely think these will sell well. They're very clean. Next, we got a really dope pair of Scooby Doo slip ons. This is Scooby-Doo on the back. They're from 2001. These things should sell because they're really cool. 
Um, nice pair of high heels. Michael Kors. That's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe 10, 15 bucks. Oh, uh, look at that. The back is all peeling and gross. So these are going in donate pile or garbage, whatever I decide later on. I'm trying to bang through this, guys. We also have these pair of Michael Kors for little girls. These are actually kind of cute. So I think I'm going to try and list those for 10 bucks. And last pair of shoes, guys, the very last pair of shoes are these Kenneth Cole Reaction Ballet Slippers. So maybe ballet slippers sell well. Let's uh, look them up since they're the last pair. So we'll see if they're worth any money. So Kenneth Cole Reaction Ballet Slippers. I'm hoping they're I'm hoping they're worth at least ten bucks, right? Completed. Looking at zero sell through, but I think maybe I spelled something wrong. All right, there we go. Let's see, because maybe people call them shoes, not slippers. Completed. Oh my gosh, they are atrocious. Completed listings. They're going in donate pile. So I got rid of a bunch of shoes. Was this worth my time? Who knows? We're going to see once I start listing these things up tomorrow or the next day whenever I start listing them. Wait, is that another bag? No, that's other stuff. Okay. So we'll see. I guess I did have some shoes that are still in the car. So I did have some one-offs right here. Um, I'll show you guys the one-offs. One was this Under Armour, red, white, and blue. Looks really nice. This would actually go for a decent amount of money. Um, another is these are the other two got a pair of converse all-stars and another pair of nike cleats so hopefully i could find the pairs i think they're in my car of these those are all actually pretty nice and yeah guys so that that will pretty much do it uh the short source said i never knew about cool brand until you said so they've been selling great for me yeah man they sell awesome for me also i don't find them so often around here but you know i still do um, I'm trying to think of another brand. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but you know, I try to help out the best I can. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty long, but I tried to like, you know, help you guys out by showing you what they actually sell for. I tried to bang out as many shoe brands as I could, and we'll see how these actually start selling. Of course, I'll let you guys know when they sell. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up before you leave. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.